My name is Ali Phillips. I'm a consultant hand, wrist and elbow surgeon. I work at University Hospital Southampton in the major trauma department, uh, where I do mostly hand and wrist complex multi-system trauma, but I also work privately in the hand, wrist and elbow areas. I used to dissect fish when I was four on the kitchen table, and I was absolutely fascinated by the anatomy. And my mum's a physio, so I used to hang around with her in the hospital. And I just loved patients. I loved being around patients. I loved the feeling of being able to help and then seeing patients back in the afternoon. And, and they said, thank you, um, which is in short supply at the moment, unfortunately. But I just love being able to fix people. So I joke with my friends when they ask me this question, because it's really because I like to sit down to operate and none of my operations last more than two hours. But in reality, hand, wrist and elbow is absolutely fundamental to most people's lives. If you can't use your hands, then it's really difficult to get around and live independently for yourself, by yourself. So that applies to children right up to anybody who's living alone into their 80s and 90s. So that for me is absolutely critical. When I am treating older patients, they have different demands, but they're still just as valid. And I think that for me is really, really important, which is why I'm not a hip or a knee surgeon, because you, you don't necessarily have that indication as a young person but you do need that in your older age whereas for me and most of my trauma patients are younger although that's increasingly uh, changing towards older patients as well so in short hand wrist and elbow is for me the key to independence and living a normal life so without them it's not much fun the most rewarding thing above everything else about my job is seeing patients back in the clinic. My clinic days are my absolute favorite days of the week. And you see patients and they say, thank you for fixing me or, or, or giving me sensible advice or putting me off having surgery. Um, and that's one of the things for me that the majority of my patients don't need an operation. They need expert advice, but they don't necessarily need an operation. And I would strongly counsel anybody uh, before they had an operation that there are risks. So the most rewarding thing for me is definitely just talking and explaining and educating patients about what needs to be done or what has been done. My patients value me for my kindness, my empathy and my sympathy. Patients come to see me because they have a problem. Now, Yes, of course, I have lots of different solutions that we can talk about, but uh, patients are still human beings sitting in front of you at the end of the day. And I'm a human being and I've been a patient and I know what it's like. I've had my own hand surgery. So from an empathy point of view, I can absolutely relate to almost all my patients. So I'm kind, I'm gentle. I won't operate on you unless you absolutely have to have it. And I can all but guarantee that I'm going to give you a good result. And also I will educate you to within an inch of your life. So you know as much about your problem as I do. The thing I value most about my patients is honesty. If patients come to me and need my honest opinion, I will give it. There's absolutely no question that they'll get honesty from me every time. But also, trust me. It's an old adage to trust me, I'm a doctor. But actually, the things that we're doing now are so different using ultrasound in our clinics and in our operating spaces, using local anesthetic, which is my speciality, to do things that people wouldn't have dreamt of doing. And a lot of people still don't dream of doing. Whereas I can do so much under local anaesthetic, enjoy being awake, but actually it's massively important and trusting me that you're not going to feel anything during the surgery. It's not going to be painful to inject because of the way I do it. Trusting me with that is fantastically useful. So the majority of patients I see, I will be able to do the operation such that you can get moving straight away after the operation. But that doesn't mean that you can do everything. So the phrase that I would like to get into everybody's heads is use it, but don't abuse it. And being a holistic hand surgeon, 
I like to think that your body will tell you when to stop. So if you use it by making a full fist, that's great. But if you use that full fist to grip something, your body will tell you to stop. And it's important that you listen to it. So use it by all means, but don't abuse it.